What's up my fellow household appliances, it's your boy LJ. Um, on one of my videos, somebody said I should do how to make a lo-fi remix from start to finish type of video. So it's gonna be kind of a more beginner focused kind of video. I'm gonna show you exactly how I make my lo-fi remixes from beginning to the end. And we're gonna be using help from the Captain plugin suite. So if you wanna cop that, link will be in the description. Use code LDRE for 10% off your purchase. <music> All right, so first things first, when I'm doing a lo-fi remix, it's just finding what's a remix. Pretty much how I do it is I go to YouTube, search up acapella for something. So I wanted to find some outcast acapellas. I couldn't find any, but that's what I searched. And I end up finding this one, Dr. Dre, nothing but a G thing, copy the link bring it over to YT MP3 just like this but be careful if you're on Windows I've heard stories like people on Windows have gotten like some type of virus from this website I've had no problems with it like on Safari on Mac so use with caution but if you know any other website where you can download YouTube videos as mp3s just do it download it and then I google nothing but a G thing key BPM boom B minor BPM 95, perfect for lo-fi. But an even better option would be to get mixed in key eight. This is a standalone software. You just grab the song, drag it in. It finished analyzing the tempo is 95. Key results is 10A. This is like the Camelot notation of this, but you can change that in the settings here so it can be more understandable. You can choose flats or sharps. So you see it here, B minor. So it checks out what we just saw on the website. I definitely recommend picking this up. It's much more reliable and you're not gonna always find the actual key and BPM on the websites that you choose. Go to my downloads, drag it in. Right now it's saying the tempo is 94.48. That could be true actually. Let's just see where it's at. One, two. Three into the foe. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Drake is at the dope. That sounded solid. It looks like it might be mad low though. So I'm just going to bring that up a good amount. Um, I definitely want to slow it down to like 85 just for the beat's sake. That's my preference of tempo for lo-fi. Next thing I like to do to make sure it's lined up, I like to pull up a drum loop or something. So let's just open up Captain Beat and just open up one of my like lo-fi drum loops just to make sure it's lined up let's change the kit real quick too i think i made a lo-fi kit yeah one two three into the four snoop doggy dog and dr dre is at the dope ready to make an entrance so back on up that actually works out <laughs> but yeah i usually open up a loop just to make sure it's lined up with the tempo properly sometimes the actual metronome doesn't really work out that well but you don't have to do it like this it's just how i do it i'm actually going to use that kick and snare though one, two, three into the four. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at the dope. Now that I have a kick in the snare, it kind of just makes it easier for me to fill out the rest of the track. Let me get like a hi-hat loop or something. One, two, three into the four. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at the dope. All right, that's solid. I want to open hat because I hear one in there. One, two, three into the four. Let's layer the snare with like a weird snare. That might work. One, two, three into the four. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at the dope. Uh, let's get some, some Foley sounds in there. One, two, three into the four. So that's a solid drum loop. So now it's time to get some melodies that'll sound good. Just group these drums. That's when I would just start. Open up Captain Chords or something or the push and I would just switch it to B minor. Go, come up with some chords, but let's connect it to Rhodes because I love Rhodes. Let's change the rooting to Captain Chords. Captain Chords. VST output. There we go. Remember, strum and swing. Best thing to do for lo-fi. So make, I strum it all the way. One, two, three, and two. Is at the dope. One, two, three into the four. One, two, three into the four. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. J. One, two. One, two, three into the four. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Drake is at the dope. All right, that's sounding solid.
Get that lower note out of here. One, two, three, into the four. Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at the dope. Ready to make an entrance, so back on the before I have to. Now it's time to just get experimental with the melodies and whatnot, and then structuring it all. For the roads, I added RC20 Retro Color. I also added this little tremolo sound from Monosphere with the same chords, an octave higher. And a bunch of delay. All right, so the bass is super important in this because, you know, it's, it's nothing but a G thing, you know. Dr. Dre and his bass, so let's get on the B minor scale on the push. Or we could use Captain Melody to do this, but I want to use the push. I want to make the bass line similar to the original song. So let's try to get that uh, the synth too. Alright, so now it's time to arrange it and I just kind of arrange it based on the vocals. It's pretty easy to arrange. This is the, actually the best way to arrange is with an acapella. So if you have trouble arranging your regular beats, just throw an acapella on it and arrange based on the vocals. But yeah, let's arrange this. And if we want to add more melodies, we will. If we want to take stuff out, we will. I prefer to take stuff out rather than add because I like to keep things simple. <laughs> One eternity later. All right, so here's the overall gist of the remix. As you can see here, I arranged it, not fully. I'm gonna finish arranging it later, but for this video's sake, it's finished. Cause I'm not adding anything else. I'm just gonna either fill it out or sometimes if it's too long, cause this is like a four minute song, I honestly might just cut it off right there and call it a wrap. Um, just to go over the steps, find the acapella, download it, find the key, the tempo, drag it into your DAW, line it all up. Luckily for me, this lined up perfectly. Dr. Dre's verse was a little off, so I had to adjust it just a little bit in the warps, but it was already warped. It was on 94.48. I left it how it was. Ableton is really good at just automatically detecting tempo. But yeah, I just had to adjust it a little bit. That's fine. And then I usually get the drum groove going just to make sure everything is lined up. We did that with Captain Beat. I switched out some of the drums. And then I just got some keys going in the same key of the song, which was B minor. So I got these roads. Now this is where you just get creative. So me personally, I took the bass from the original song. I took that bass line just to keep it kind of funky, you know what I'm saying? But you don't have to do that. Same thing with this little top melody right here. Those are just icing on the cake type things that you really don't have to do. I just like doing stuff like that just to keep the original feel of the track. And I added this little melody right here. So that's just an organ. Um, I also added this little guitar. It just comes in out of nowhere. I added a few drops in the drums just to add more interesting elements to it because this song really is just a loop of the same beat. And that's pretty much it. So once you get the melodies, you can just arrange it based on the original song. And then as far as mixing and mastering goes, as you can see here, it's just levels. I just turn stuff up, turn stuff down, add reverb. I nudge things to the left, to the right to give it some swing. And then I can show you my mastering chain for lo-fi is my exact same mastering chain for everything. <laughs> so I don't change much. Um, it's all about limiters. So I have Ozone. So this is my mastering chain right here. Ozone 9, Loud Max, which is a free limiter. A1 stereo control, free stereo. That just makes it wider. Loud Max is a limiter, makes it louder. But Ozone is really what you need. Um, 
Um, if you don't want to learn how to master, honestly, it's just presets. I have the light cleanup preset, but let's say you don't have ozone, this is what's on it. An EQ, just like this, screenshot it if you want to copy that. An imager, don't even know what that does. And a maximizer, that's basically a limiter with these settings. You can screenshot that too. And if you just find separate plugins, you can use the Ableton EQ. Ableton probably has an imager, I don't know. And the limiter, Ableton has a limiter, or you can use Loud Max, which is free. Yeah, that's my mastering chain for the vocals, EQ out the low end, and just reverb. And shout out to Captain Plugins for, you know, helping me out with the chords and stuff like that. You know, if you're not that fancy on the keys, you can always use Captain Chords like I did, or Captain Melody, whatever you want to make it easier for you. But that's it. That's how to make a lo-fi remix from start to finish. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for streaming the music. Um, if you haven't already, search L.DRE on all streaming platforms and go add me to your playlist. What are you waiting for? Um, if you want to copy any of these Captain plugins, you can do it in the link in the description. Use code L.DRE for 10% off your purchase. Yeah, I'm a table. Don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot be. L.J.L.